Yo, what's good, guys? It's your boy Steven from Truth Gaming. We got a sick video for you guys today. I was on Mega Capital Jesus uh, stream the other day, and I was like, "Yo, I called them out. Let's play, bro. Let's play me versus you." Uh, I've been watching this game for a while since before I even started the channel, and uh, I thought it'd be pretty cool. I used to be one of those people that would be like, "Yo, Cap G, do me, do me," you know, on like Dueling Book when he has the streams. I was one of those guys before him. I was one of those guys. I asked for duel for tips on everything, and uh. Not dueling tips because uh, there won't be much tips needed because, you know, you can't really teach a pen god how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! But I did ask him for a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! For Yu -Oh! tubing tips before I even started. And uh, you know what? Mega Capital G is one of the inspirations why I started this channel. So I, I'm going to have a great time in destroying him in this duel. So this is it. You guys see? I'm going to go right into it. I told him let's play. Uh, the whole chat. Uh, they're smart. One sec. All right. So, the whole chat, they're smart, right? They uh, know that I'm going to win. So, like, yeah, the whole chat says you're going to win. Well, yeah, obviously, they're not wrong on that. They're not wrong on that. But, uh, yo, we're in my man cave right now, man. You guys see, yo, the Pats are right there. Yo, Tom Brady. Yo, they're the GOAT, man. Those two are the GOATs, bro. But anyways, we're going to go right into it. All right. So, we're going to go right into this. And it's basically going to do a whole match. Uh, me versus Mega Capital G. See who, see who wins. Uh... Spoiler alert, you don't even need to watch, you already know who won, but it was a great match, I was playing, I was playing Alistair guys. I was playing 60 card pendulum, and I was not stream sniping, a lot of people when they play, uh, when there's a stream going on, they stream snipe, I do not stream snipe whatsoever, whatsoever, I do not do that, I kept playing, kept playing, and I was like, yo, there's no way this guy's gonna beat me, I'm gonna put up a crazy board, we open broken, you see, but again, the whole deck opens broken, man. The deck opens broken. Then he, uh, he drove me a little later, but that's fine. Uh, I just kept going and uh, pushed through what I could. With Droll, uh, usually doesn't hurt, but when you have a hand trap, a lot of hand traps, it does. So with Droll, we're going to go through, we're aiming for, I wanted, Jack, I wanted to put up a second Electrum, but uh, it would have been too neg uh, to do the se second Electrum. Uh, we'd have the exact same result here, just going... A Jackal Narito. We fix our scale up. Uh, we just pen Chrono Jackal. Going to the Narito. You need Jackals. You need access to Jackal when uh, you're under Droll. Sometimes you get Drolled in permanence. And you just need a, one of your six cards. To be three Cerberus or three Jackal. To ensure no matter where you got one of them. We're negating the... As we playing out to you guys. We negate that 100%. Because... Uh, well, that their turn will literally end after that. Uh, there's nothing else to negate monster-wise. And we'll slowly have this. We're going to save Narito for one of his cards. Uh, we're gonna pop the electron. We're gonna add a card. So all I gotta worry about is one back row. So we're gonna go slowly but slowly. Uh, yep. So he ashes the allure. I uh, negate it with Jackal, and then I, he strikes the Jackal. We can't negate that with Naruto. Uh, we're gonna normal that. Get uh, contract. We're gonna get Leonidas. Uh, I wanted to go for a pretty cool play with Thomas, but I was like, you know what? It's literally game. If I win, or if I attack, and I wasn't even playing Time Gazer. I'm playing no magicians in here. Not even Time Gazer, just to prove a point. Who needs magicians to win when you're playing the best pendulum uh, deck ever? Uh, and then we attack, attack, win. Uh, we're not going to go to that next game. So that was game one. Uh, we went first. Alter Gaze can't do anything going second. Respect to Cap G for hanging in there. But uh, I'm not losing, man. I'm not losing, especially not to Alter Gaze. Uh, game two, uh, we open reboot. But he let us go first. He let us go first. So we know there's a sphere mode even the Lava Golem coming. Uh, so we, keep, we're, we got to prep for that a bit. We got to prep for that. Uh, we got to prep, you know, Severe Mode, Lava Golem, evenly, 50 million hand traps. You got to prep for all that. So, uh, we're playing. We opened Busted, even though we had the reboot. It's okay. Uh, we keep going. Uh, I'm like, okay, we're going to special. Stick to the game plan. Exodia coming soon. We're at a second Electrum. It got Impermanence. Then he fake it. We could have reboot if we want, but whatever. Uh, we don't need to do that. And we're like, slowly, you know what? It's okay. We're going to go... Uh, but at this point, I'm like, yo, I got to be careful. So they clearly, if you went second playing Altergeist, probably the number one deck in the world that says they have to go first to play. Obviously, playing a deck like that, uh, they obviously sided into three spheres, three golem, three evenly, all that. Mi mi uh, many, many hand traps, three cherries, all that stuff. Uh, they didn't open, like, they open. They didn't open cherries. They opened in permanence. Uh, it's probably the only hand trap they had. They didn't hand trap anything else. So I was like, you know what? There has to be a sphere. There has to be a sphere. There has to be a golem. There has to be double evenly something like that. You wouldn't activate. Uh, you wouldn't have evenly be used uh, the effect of faker. So uh, 
Uh, he doesn't evenly. He has to have Severe Golem. Uh, Ultra Gates can easily play both Severe and Golem. So at this point, I'm like, yo, I got to play around Severe and Golem. Uh, so Golem, you can't play around. I just hope it's, it has to be Severe. So I'm thinking in my mind, I'm going to put up Griffin Vortex uh, to stop or something. Something with two monsters. Because if I Griffin here, uh, he won't be able to use Malleus effect. Uh, so I thought that was the best play. I thought that was the best play for sure. Vortex Griffin. Uh, but unfortunately, as I was playing, uh, someone messaged me from his stream uh, on Mega Capital G stream on Twitch. Messaged me and said, he has Sphere. He has Sphere mode. Play around it. So I'm like, why the fuck are you messaging me that when I'm uh, literally trying to do it anyways? I'm going to look like an, like, I like, after that, I realized, like, yo, my brain is too big for these, uh, small minds of, of watchers that they think, uh, that Shrift Gaming is honorable. They would think that I, I stream sniped if I went two monsters, but I could have done more, uh, even though it's an obvious play. So, the best play is very simple. Abductor, at Hamster, you got the best follow-up, uh, in the game against Altergeist, Hamster, and Reboot. And then Griffin Vortex. I literally win. I was doing this anyways. But I felt bad that the guy told me. Because I was debating doing this or doing something else. And I literally am like, yo, you know what? Then he sphere, he like, uh, for he sphere mode shot. But he couldn't sphere mode doing that. He had to be three monsters on my side. And then I was like, yo, you know what? I told him, uh, I already know this is an auto win. There's no way you're going to beat this. Uh, playing Ultra Gaze, especially with Reboot in my hand. I was just going to win the next uh, turn. I was like, you know what, bro? It's okay. Uh, someone told me to just go straight to game three. Someone told me, uh, it's all good. Don't even worry about it. Uh, I just felt bad. So at the end of the day, it's okay. Out to gaze, it takes game two. Uh, if I didn't open my, my Facebook or all that, I would like, I, I would have known anyways. But anyways, we kept going here. Uh, and Shrine, Worm, Zero, we open good. We're going to keep going. We're going to try and play around all hand traps. And then over here, I'll uh, jackal into, Ch into Cerberus, and he hits us with the cherries. It happens, man. It happens. A lot of times, you're going to hit with cherries, and that's okay. That's why you play jackal. You play jackal to ensure, no matter what, you're going to get, uh, without using Electrum's effect, it ensures that you are going to have access to jackal. Jackal is the best way to play around cherries, and usually you have two ranks, uh, two of the same rank, right? Two of the same level. So when you have two of the same level... It's easy because you just make a tornado, you make a totem, you need a Dorito, Vortex, whatever it is. But we didn't have two of the same level uh, that didn't need to be in the same scale. So we had to, we had two sevens, but they had to be in the scale. So we're just going to go for a Jackal uh, and be like, yo, whatever. That's all we could do. But uh, they still have a tough time getting over Jackal. And then Sphere. Whatever. It's okay. Uh, we didn't have that big of a board. It hurts. He sets three passes. We're in the lead still, even though we got Cherried and Sphere. We're still in the lead. We're up on cards big time. Uh, we're going to slowly outgrind him. Uh, outgrind the outgrind deck. That's how good pendulums are. Uh, combo and grind. So we iris a sphere. Add a card. Contract, add a card. Keep plussing. We're going to keep iris and contract on board for as long as we can. Keep plussing. Uh, we're going to... Uh, obviously, some backer. got to fear the strikes. And uh, so we pen two. Pen three. And uh, use Worm's effect. And strike uh, strike, strike the summon. We would have get uh, effects from Kepler and Worm. Like if that resolved, we got plus. We have five cards and three monsters on board. You don't have to pen everything, especially when you're playing a back row deck against back row decks, man. Don't pendulum everything, bro. Don't pendulum everything against back row decks. You don't got to do much against back row decks. You got to outgrind the back row decks. Outgrind the outgrind the, outgrind the grind deck. I knew if uh, they uh, negated the summon with uh, strike or whatever, worm would still get uh, a summon from grave, bring out zero. You're still getting pluses. So just keep plusing and keep plusing. Eventually, they're gonna run out of strikes. Eventually, they're going to run out of Torrentials. And when there's no more back row, uh, or one back row after the other, go uh, pen a little bit more one by one until eventually you just pen five and win. So, look, he passes. I uh, get a grind deck. You're going to brick. If he opens that many cards, like uh, Sphere, Cherry, stuff like that, he's going to brick. Uh, so, we get another plus there. We open the Restrict to stop another Sphere just in case. Because uh, we're going to uh, usually the plans to search the Restrict if we didn't get cherried. We pop the zero. Uh, Persona in hopes of making uh, Vortex. We summon out three monsters is enough to attack for game. Uh, does he do anything? Nope. And we just attack for game. And that's the game. So we beat Matt Mega Capital G on his own stream. We went to his own house and beat him. Just like we do with everyone. But big respect to Mega Capital G. Respect to you, bro. 
I appreciate all you've done for the community. You've been around for a long time. You're one of the OG Yugi tubers. And uh, we're going to play more soon in the future, probably. You already know we're not losing. But, guys, just to end off the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, also, subscribe to Trip Fitness if you haven't already. Check out my Patreon. And we're going to be releasing Twitch soon. We're going to be doing live duels of destroying everyone. On top of that, we're going to be releasing our own mat soon. Trip Gaming mat coming at 10K subs. And go also subscribe to our boy, Man Capital G. Uh, thank you, bro, for all you've done for the community. I'm going to put uh, his link in search from below if you haven't already subscribed to him. Also, I love all you guys. Thank you for the support, man. One month in, I already have uh, 8,000 subscribers almost. Uh, you guys are just amazing. I really appreciate every single one of you. Uh, yeah, I am the pendulum god. I'm, I'm very confident in my abilities, but I'm also very, very uh, honored that uh, I already have 8,000 subs. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. And have a great night, guys. See you guys next time.